Hey, today I'm bringing you a deck profile for a kimono. Uh, sorry guys, it's been a while, but uh, here we go. Um, here's uh, Sakura uh, kimono. She's the best one. You draw a card every time you get ahead, so you draw a ton off of her. Um, she's insane. Uh, next up, two ten ten. Um, draw a card and you discard one. Um, sh she's really good. Um, but she's Earth. If she was Wind, I would play three of her. Um, next up, uh, three uh, Hotaru. Um, when you summon her, you get to flip a coin. If you get heads, you draw a card. If it's tail, she gets a growth coin. So it triggers off your kimonos. And the big daddy over here, uh, Rock Lee, MVP of the deck. Um, during the mission phase, either player's turn, you can flip a coin. And if you get heads, you uh, double his attack. And if you get tails, you his original attack becomes zero. So uh, if you have soccer on the field, you draw a card um, during your turn, and then you draw a card during your opponent's turn because uh, you're flipping you're, you're flipping heads every time. Um, and I'll get to how you do that later. Um, you know, honestly, only play you know because I wanted to play at least one of each kimono in the deck. I'd rather play another turn zero just for more consistency. Um, I like to play twelve turn zeros whenever I get a, whenever I can. Usually, um, you, it's hard to fit twelve turn zeros into decks, so often have to play 10 or 11 but i like to go with 12 so um but yeah she's she's an okay she's she she has a good effect she's not bad it's just that there's better cards um this is another really cool card in the deck so shikamaru nara um when he's sent out to battle and oppose you flip a coin and if it's heads it becomes a mental power battle it's much better than flexibility in this deck because not only um can you make sure it's heads every time but um, it triggers off your kimonos, so you get to draw cards and get girl coins and all kinds of stuff with your kimono effects. Um, he's really amazing. And um, it lets me use uh, Shikamaru's decision to search out anything I want, which is uh, actually the best thing about it. Um, Hinata. So Hinata kimono is banned, so I use this one. This one says when it's sent out to battle, um, it, or what, what is it? When, it's, uh, when it receives any damage while it's in injured status. Uh, you flip a coin, and if it sets, you negate the damage. And um, so you can just, like, chump block with her forever, which is really cool. You just get her injured, and then after that, um, you can just, if you need to chump block, you can chump block. Um, honestly, this deck is pretty aggressive and just really powerful and consistent. So I generally don't need her, but I just think it's a really cool effect, so I'll have her in there. Um, she is a good card, though, so I don't know if I'd take her out if... Uh, if it if, if I mean I'm playing her basically as because I'm a Hinata fan, but even if I wasn't, I still might play her because it is really good. Um, and then two uh, Naruto uh, clones. Um, actually, uh, another clone might be better than the Hinata. Uh, but aside from the Hinata and the you know everything else is the way you would want it to be. Everything else is perfect. Um, but I, I do like the Hinata. So the clones are very important because Naruto's a big deal in this deck. He's one of the main cards. Um, next, Shizune uh, Kimono. Um, her effect is uh, when you get heads, um, your females get plus one, plus one for the turn. And um, if you get tails, you discard a male ninja. Um, I don't really play her too often. Um, I usually play Naruto on turn three. And there's so many good drops in the deck that you don't generally want to use up a drop on her. Even like in, like later in the game, um, dropping a one drop is pretty strong, or like a zero drop. So, I mean, you usually play something else. She doesn't get played very much. I used to mostly for hand cost, to be honest. But um, there's there's been some games where um, I wanted to go into the Hinata, I mean, the Sakura and Sonata squad. And um, her effect works if you have all, uh, all females. And I used Shizune to discard all my male ninjas. So I purposely got Tails just to discard my male ninjas because I had like one or two, I don't remember. Um, and then I played the squad and um, I was able to just control the game completely. My opponent could do anything after that. So, um, But yeah, usually I don't really play her that, that often. Um, she does have a good effect though. Uh, Naruto. That's what I play on turn three every game pretty much, unless I get really unlucky, but I haven't had a game like that in a while. Um, so the reason he's so important in the deck is because Dreams of the Past is 
um, a very essential card in the in the deck. So Dreams of the Past lets you reflip um, your coins. So if you get Tails, you can just do a reflip up to twice per turn. So if you have this on the field, you get three chances to get a heads instead of just one. Um, and I played three of them, of course, and you pretty much want to play as many of these as you can. Um, once you have one on the field, in my experience, I pretty much always get heads, um, at least with when I'm doing one effect per turn. Um, if I, if those turns were like, if, if you're going to do three flips in the same turn, uh, just one of these probably isn't enough. So I usually purposely won't, uh, do extra like coin flips. Like for example, if I have Rocket on the field, I purpose purposely won't use this effect because, um, if I already re like used up the two retries, um, but yeah, if you have th two, um, anytime I have two of these on the field, I, I get heads every time for the rest of the game no matter how many flips i do in the, in the turn um and i do that every game it's not hard at all so and yeah this is a very essential card a lot of people have played this deck and thought that it, it wasn't good because they kept getting tells and it's because they undervalue this card um you need to get this on the field every single game and just keep it there um other people, like, they'd rather draw three cards or whatever rather than play this card because it only draws one. But it's more important than people give it credit. So, um, yeah, you definitely want to play that card. And that's why Naruto's in here. And, of course, I'm going to get Naruto every game. I have three of those tiers, three Shiga decisions. So he's – and then the clones. He's always going to go to the field. Um, Anko, my favorite kimono. She's super good. Every time you flip a heads, you get to put a girl coin on somebody. So – um, my teams always end up being far bigger than my opponent's teams. I mean, they get freaking huge. So, I mean, I, I flip like two or three coins per turn. So she, she just really um, puts a lot of girl coins out there. She's amazing. And then uh, for five drops, uh, Kurnai uh, Kimono, um, she's too broken. Um, if you get heads, you're... Uh, or male ninjas, I think it's not just your opponents, but male ninjas in general cannot use uh, Jutsu. So um, if you're playing against a deck that has a lot of males, or um, even if they have females, but like the males are the ones that can play the Jutsus, the main Jutsus that they have in their deck, this just kills them. Like if you play against a Sasuke deck and they play sh Shidoris and stuff like that, um, or a Gar deck, you know, they, they can't do shit if you play her. She's, she's really insane. And then I play two Yamato. Um, he's really good. Um, not necessary, but there's no better five drop. Um, he's kind of overkill, to be honest. But, yeah, he's just amazing. Um, I honestly, these two right here, I just I feel like uh, by the time I can get them out, like I've already won the game. Even Same thing with her. Like, once, like you don't need your five drops and higher. You pretty much win before you even get them out. But, uh, yeah, so Yamato add a mission or Jutsu every turn. Tsunade, uh, you get to add a Jutsu to your hand, and also you can flip a coin once per turn. So that's one of the ways you flip a lot of coins uh, multiple times per turn. Like, you can use teams like Rock Lee, um, then summon a Kimono as well. That's two flips already. You grow up the Kimono, that gives you another flip. Um, and then you have Tsunade, so you can get a lot of flips. I actually tend to drag out my games just like I like I even if I have game I, I don't bother to win just because I'm having fun with the deck the deck's just a lot of fun so I, I also I like to bring off sage mode so I like to go into turn seven um three never any loves and three dreams of the past um like I said very important card um three you know tears I mean, best uh, searcher in the entire game. It really is. Better than Shiga's Decision, better than anything else, because this gives you two ninjas, not just one. And there's no, um, like, it doesn't, it's not like Mega Taxes where it has to be a certain interest cost or anything. Just any win ninja you want, it's, it's amazing. Easily the best searcher in the whole game. Um, then three Shiga's Decisions. Um, this is amazing because you get to draw a card. So, um, you know, you search out one of your kimonos and then you get to draw. Really good. Three infinite embrace, of course, because it's a jutsu that flips a coin. Um, so you get to get heads and draw a card off of uh, your kimono so, and move their ninja to their chakra. Really good. Three ferocious punch. 
Um, any female can use it. This negates and discards the jutsu and it gives the damage to the user of that jutsu. And if Tsunada uses it, you win a battery ward. Amazing card. Um, the fact that you can pay three of anything is helpful too because there's a lot of earth in the deck and then there's some lightning. I mean, usually it doesn't matter, but once in a while. And then three fear by Genjutsu. Amazing card. Makes everybody bailing his user standby. No requirements. And my one snipe, Hydro Pump. I'd like to play more snipes, but um, the deck's just so good. I don't really have the need for that, so I don't need to bother, really. But normally one snipe is way too low. You need to play at least two in most decks. And then for the extra deck, um, I got Tsunade and Sakura, of course. Um, Sage Mode. Hokage Naruto. Another Sage Mode. Hinata and Naruto. Hinata and Sakura. And then Hinata, I mean, uh, Sakura, uh, Naruto and um, Yamato. Uh, this is just there just in case there's some situation where I might want to play it. I, I mean, there's really no reason to, but I have the two characters in the deck, so why not? All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.